All right, guys, you guys know how we keep talking about revamping the JK office? Like, we haven't touched it in years. There's holes from old JK party games where we raged out. There's stains on the ground. It's old, it needs to be updated. And all the decor is from the old crew, which we will not mention because as you guys know, we had a big falling out. We got this whole new crew, the careful boys that we've been rocking with and we've been crushing it for going on almost two years now. Well, in the last couple of weeks, Ryan and his girlfriend Smack came through and completely revamped our new JK News set. So I want to share it with you guys and feast your eyes on this. Keep in mind, it's not completely done because they did pretty much all of the foundation and added even a lot of the icing, but a lot of the stuff to come in and add a little personal touches. But even right when you walk in, but bam look at that. There's this turf, there's this, these foot lockers, this camo netting, because this is my side. And even looking at these chairs, these chairs are completely different. Finally, some updated ass chairs instead of some old white people business chairs. And we got some of our merch on the wall. Bessels with the boys. That's so funny. That's uh, one of those things that we used to say because me and Nick always try to kiss. We got Jason Cheney over there rocking the Anthony Lee 9-11 denier shirt. Show me the proof. We only have one of one of these made. We've been trying to convince Anthony. Like, yo, can you please just let us sell it? We'll give you 100% of the profits, but I understand. He doesn't want his career in dance to be ruined, so he's not letting us sell. But I would love to sell that shirt because it's so fucking hilarious. Moving on over here. I don't know how the fuck Ryan does this shit, but he's a genius. He turned this into like our own Vegas styled cigar whiskey lounge type of thing. Like even look at, look at the detail of this. This grandfather clock that's slightly tilted. It's lit, it's backlit so you see the leaves. Then he got this careful boys like sign made. We got this roulette table. Dude, it actually works. I mean, he, he, something that I love about Ryan is he'll make things work, but also he will update things without losing touch of what brought the charm in the first place. You know what I mean? Did that come out fucking weird? So for example, like, um, like that, for example, right there, bam. So those holes are super iconic. If you are an old JK Party fan, you see us rage out and me and Joe knocked all these holes in the wall. And that is something that all of our guests always mention. Like, Yo, what happened over here? And we always have, you know, they're a great inspiration for conversations and stories. So instead of covering it up, he framed them to even draw more attention, but also kind of make it a memory. And another thing that I liked is um, like these old A-Track machines. So a track is old, old, you know, you guys, most people have people listen to streaming music before streaming was MP3 before MP3 was CDs before CDs was cassette tapes. And when I was a kid, kid, like maybe three or four years old, I barely remember eight track. And then we had these eight track players and he put this here. So it makes that look cool. And look at the, look at the, the design, like even the painting, like that stripe. And then we had all of all our warts just laying on the floor back there. He put it all up. Like, what I love about Ryan is I think Ryan loves us more than we love ourselves. So I feel so grateful. But yeah, look at this. We have our Just Kidding News OG 1 million subscriber plaque, JK Films, JK Gamer 100K, JK Party 100K, Just Kidding News 100K, Ask the Feels. I believe we have one more. We should have a JK Party 1 million one, but that one looks different because these are the OG million plaques. You know how they start updating it? There is one that's uh, slightly, what in the, at first I thought this was Taika. I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh my, okay. I get the fucking reference now. Do you guys get the fucking reference? You diehard JK News fans. Oh my fucking God. I can't believe I didn't get it. 
So you guys know that one story of um, when I was a kid and my dad beat the fuck out of me in the parking lot of a supermarket and I started running down and then I found an Ethan Allen, which is a furniture store and I run in and I was hiding for my life and I found a grandfather clock. <laughs> this is why we have a grandfather clock and that's why there's a fucking Asian boy kid in there and that's why he has his picture. Dude, Ryan is a fucking genius. The layers of depth to this callback reference was beyond me. I had my low IQ hat on and wow. Dude, Ryan, you're a fucking genius, dude. Anyways, going back, look at this sick ass paint job. And then the other thing I was like, just going back to what I was talking about with Ryan, how he likes to bring old elements into the new, like, that wall, remember we used to have brick along that whole wall? That texture is stripped off. As you can see, it's back to like whatever this stucco material is, right? Like he stripped that off. Oh, wait, did he strip it off? I don't know. I think he did strip it off. But anyways, we put brick on there to kind of like bring that brick from here to over there. And he made the timer professional. Because every time people walk by, they knock it down. We don't know where the remote is. So, like, things are not only becoming more aesthetic, it's also being more, um, what's the word? Functional. And shout out to James Rodolfo, who does all of our highlight reels. That's so cool. We have a little memorial clock for him. The attention to detail is insane. All right, moving on. We moved the Kinjas. I keep saying we like I did it. Ryan moved the Kinjas arcade over here. You can see it on camera. This is dope. I'm sure this is some fucking deep ass meeting. Is this that Clint Eastwood movie? Oh, <laughs> it is. Old Enough for Kisses, 13 in September. But look at that. The old school Uncle Sam, Uncle Chin outfit put in the glass case. We got more merch. Got these super colorful rugs. And Ryan May's favorite movie, Back to the Future, in the Japanese version. And over here, he even revamped our kitchenette. Like every, like now it actually feels dope because before, you know, when you see it on camera, you would just see it back here. So it looked kind of like ghetto, where you're like, wait, are they just filming where they do things? And it's like, yeah. But now everything is an intentional look. So. From back here, now you see this. You see a drum set, you see the JK News lighting, like everything looks intentional. And then he tucked this whole thing away in here. He even mounted a TV. And I'm a big details guy. And the fact that he's like hides wires and shit, and then more paint stripes, like look at that wire hiding. It's incredible, dude. Ryan is freaking amazing. And then just even the time it takes to do this door, to do that triangle and then paint all those colors, this door probably took like, I don't know, three hours, probably take me three hours. And over here, he did this cool like club vibe. Look at this, dude. That this is just on all the time. Like when I come in, I don't even have to turn it on. It's just on all the time. But yeah, he made it all dark and moody and the slate blue paint and see, I like that he always keeps like the OG stuff. So I drew that B long time ago and he's like, got to keep that. That's part of it. We removed all the people we hate, which is sick. Only the true, the true ride or die people are in here, which is really cool. Can't complain when you see Boote and Boote. But I probably need Ryan to walk us through. I feel like there's so many gems in here that I'm missing out on because he's like thinking at such a deep level. The reason why I'm here though is uh, I bought some stuff to personalize that side. So I'm just gonna mount that. And then I can't wait to tomorrow because I'm gonna get everyone's reactions because this is my second time seeing it. The first time I saw it, it just straight blew my mind. And Ryan May had me react to it on a phone. So I sent that to him. But I was like, dude, I got to share this with all of you guys. So I vlogged it. But I got to set up. Uh, I got to go to a meeting. So I got to come in real quick, bang out this setup. And 
and uh, be out. All right, I started working up a storm and then I forgot that LA is humid. So I started sweating and uh, I didn't want to go to my meeting like all sweaty and stuff. So I took off my shirt. So don't mind me, but I was going to put up the flag and it ended up covering the whole thing. So I'm like, dude, I, I'm going to need Ryan's design eye to come and show me what he thinks will look best. But I was able to dig in the JK props and pull out my old military stuff. So I redesigned what he did and I think it came out really good. So I put the Molly pack right there. That's oh, not even Molly, is it? I forgot the name of it. We put the pack right here, put the old combat boots, put the Kevlar without the cover. I felt like it balanced out with the green. Got the canteen, K bar, put the little hat, AKA cover, and then the little blood sport. Shout outs to Ryan for knowing all my favorite stuff. Putting it here now. This background looks really, really cool. And that's what all the backgrounds look like. Yep, that's about it for today. Um, I'll uh, probably have to fine tune some stuff tomorrow, but I can't wait to get everyone's reactions tomorrow. All right, Ryan, this is the maestro behind all this crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah. What inspired you to like, like how are you inspired? What's, what's my, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Um, like, how did you know what to do and what was like your creative direction? I, I just thought about us, man. I just thought about us as dudes. And I thought it'd be really funny to have like each side be representative of like each person mm, a little bit. Yeah. And um, like with this side, it, it reminds me a lot of Anthony and kind of the jokes that we make as like being pseudo gentlemen. Yeah. Like, so we wanted to, um, I guess like make something that looked kind of like a, like a vintage man cave sort of thing oh you know like yeah. a, like a smoking lounge like yeah, a smoking yeah, yeah. room like yeah, from back in the day like. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. a whiskey cigar lounge exactly yeah i forgot what you call those things yeah but then it kind of looks like that like but... a sex havers pad <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> and then uh and then i wanted to just put everything mainly like items wise was the most important thing was for people like jk audience to see their comments like in mm. front of them because, you know, they, they we have so many inside jokes with them over the years and so many recurring themes everywhere in the DMs. And I'm like, it'd be so great for them to see that. That's the most important thing was having your guys. What started it all. Yeah. yeah. It all. You know, like, it's crazy that we don't have anything, uh, I guess, like, pertaining to that yeah. in, in JK. And, like, yeah. dude, we need that. And, uh, yeah. It's crazy. I feel like there's so many fucking layers. And you yeah. can, if you want a, a part of JK history, you can visit that merchlabs.com slash JK news. Merchlabs.com slash JK news. What's the code again? There's no code. Oh. So What's the website no again? <laughs> merchlabs.com slash JK news. We should get a code where if they put it in, it's like 20% more expensive. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I feel like there's so much um, like layers yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Did you have fun looking through yeah, it? Yeah, like, like the James Rodolfo one. <laughs> like, I already, like I already caught it on the video. vlog, but uh, no fucking bullshit. I was walking around and I was just vlogging, like just talking, whatever. Yeah. And I literally came to this section, right? And then I was like, hmm, that's pretty cool, grandfather clock. And I was like, <laughs> grandfather clock. And it fucking blew my mind. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, you like that Asian Asian Yeah, and there's a baby in there. And in this one? Yeah. yeah. This one and this one got an AI version. Yeah, of the that story. was crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, that was the, the... detail. The detail. It's all I think in the it's, detail, man. Aesthetic wise, it's pretty simple. But yeah. I mean, the the complicated part was just fitting in all of the different details that we have over time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because there's so much stuff that we've said and done, and like things that are so iconic, stuff that was already iconic here, like even that donut that's been behind your head for the past forever now it's on the you know <laughs> just moved it because i'm like i don't want to lose certain things yeah and your painting that we took down yeah, yeah thank you thank like you. i want to find a place for everything you know because yeah. this i'm so glad yep. yeah back to the future and the wait the is that Japanese, custom made yeah that one is custom made that one was like made by a prop a prop house wow. back in the day that was when i had my delorean i had that commissioned oh, ages wow. ago so it's super solid and then next to it's the japanese back to the future poster yeah i saw of this that. guy Japanese but future. I think the most important thing is I wanted the fans to feel like like th this era belongs to them too. Mm, that's you know, so like, cool. Because they're sitting here staring at an era from way back, you know? Like, yeah. Not that that's bad. A bunch of people bad, that we but... fucking hate and shit. 
<laughs> I was walking through the hallway. I was like, good. All the people we hate aren't on here anymore. That, yeah. Isn't it crazy? Like, we, even though we fucking hate their guts, Dude. that on the in the hallway, we would walk by every single day and I would see their childhood pictures. And I was like, oh, that's the person that I fucking hate their guts of. <laughs> and we know what took it down. <laughs> But yeah, it's like we're, it's been such an iconic era. Like it just needed a like a fresh feeling. Yeah. In terms of environment. Twenty twenty four. Twenty 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 four. And it just needed a, a good cleaning. Yeah. You know and what my favorite part about all of this is? Yeah. What is it? We created this whole feeling that JK was on its way out of YouTube. Yeah. But you know what the real deal is? We are the cockroaches of YouTube. Never go we away. We can survive a nuclear attack, which we did, and people thought, oh. They're done. Well, guess what? Rebirth, baby. Rebirth. And on top of that, two million subscribers. And on top of that, 2024, we're just gonna keep making new content and keep going. Yep. We're gonna be face. like the first 60 year old YouTubers. Oh, that would be fucking <laughs> be so sick. No, there's actually senior YouTubers. I know. No, but they're not of our generation. But they're not like us. Cause we're like Gen One or Gen One point five. Us and Wang Fu. Long yeah. Is surviving. Cause if you're sure. like 60 and you jump on, that's kind of cheating. Yep. Cause you weren't there yeah, from yeah, the yeah. fucking you cats on the from piano. The We're from the cats on the piano era. Yeah, yeah We're from it. Charlie bit my finger era, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's a Gen 1 YouTuber now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Should I open ready? it? Yeah, now we're gonna get reaction. Are you by yourself? Huh? Are you by yourself? Yeah, I'm by myself. All right, All right cool. <laughs> Check out our new set, dude. It's pretty cool, man. Welcome. What the f Fuck, Shut the dude, fuck up, you're outside what? still. I'm st <laughs> this was like, whoa, <laughs> this dude. This is crazy. <laughs> Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I like how you said what the fuck to just that corner. <laughs> this <laughs> corner's crazy. We should have closed the door after that. <laughs> you you didn't even man? see any of it yet. How many days did this take you to do? This um, is absolutely insane. Right? Like six days? What the fuck? You fucking <laughs> killed walk, it, huh? Take a walk, man. I was like, Jesus, fucking Make Christ. yourself at come home. Come this way, come this way. Bro, This is your what? new home. It's your new home, man. We got chairs? We got new chairs? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, we have a whole... What is this? What do you call this? This is Baccarat. We got Baccarat? <laughs> Roulette. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Isn't this shit crazy? Okay, this guy was asking me, he's like, Give me some stuff that I could put like on the uh, on the walls. And you I was like, I don't belt, think man. I have anything to put. I got a black belt. Dude. I was like, put a picture of my dogs. Man, dude, fuck your dogs. Funny. Man, what the fuck, dude? This is incredible, dude. This was meant to be your. Um, this was meant to be your jujitsu podium. <laughs> yeah. Really? I mean, second yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be second place podium. Oh my god. That is so cool. This ended up just Believe it, like, all women. <laughs> We're what gonna make a. Merch. Is this really gonna be a jujitsu no, podium? Be merch. It, it was. It was. But now we're just gonna put merch. So then, whenever oh. whenever guests come, we'll just yeah. have merch. Oh, merch okay. Okay. This is so fucking crazy. <laughs> this is beyond what you I had it, pictured in my head. Right? <laughs> Dude, we have a cutting board. We finally have a cutting board. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Look at fucking. Is this yeah. place place fucking insane? Bro, we got a club in fuck? here. We got a straight club in here, dude. We have nectar hard seltzer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're like, yeah. No, but even looking at this door, I was like, yeah. dude, did that door take like two hours or something? <laughs> two hours? Yeah, I can't imagine how long this all took. Yeah. You know what took longer? Just sorting the bathroom shelf. Cause oh, look, really? yeah, the yeah. The, the, yeah, even wow. the practical stuff. Even the practical stuff is dope. Look at that. Dude, did you see, Joe, did you see that picture above the toilet? Yeah, I, like, I saw this. <laughs> it was it. Yeah, it's from the from the episode. I can't believe you found it. Who goes there? Yo. Who's yo? You know. Are you gonna open the door? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how do I open the door with my hands on the camera? Welcome to the new office. Welcome, sir. Come on in. Welcome to the new office. We're not pranking you or doing anything. Nothing's gonna fall on your head. No spears. We're just no, getting. This is an anti hoodie worth a thousand dollars. No, no, Please we're just we're fall. just getting actual reactions of of the set. Holy shit! 
Right? Holy shit, it actually looks cool in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to your new home. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. That chain's icy though, I'll tell you that. Right. You like this shit? What the fuck is this? My Gucci chain. Had to get it when it became such a huge percent of my portfolio. <laughs> it's because I'm a crush in the game so hard. Dude, this you gotta is see the rest. Ridiculous. See the rest. Oh yeah, you, look you, at the rest. You gotta Holy see. You gotta shit. see your Colts room in the back. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. It's your kitchenette. It's we, now a fucking Colts room. Look at the color on the wall. Oh my God, you guys are the best, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Anthony did this That's all by himself. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Dude, bro, you're amazing. Dude. Isn't he amazing? This is yeah, fucking yeah. incredible. Doesn't dude, make sense. This is like a cool spot. Yeah. <laughs> like we could take chicks here. Dude. We could actually take women here. <laughs> wow. This is so slick. I know. I gotta keep We're finally gonna get laid, dude. <laughs> We're finally gonna get laid. Hey! Yay! Yay! We could have parties here. <laughs> We can my girls! Dude, it's gonna be awesome. Run the up and up, boys. Like, this is really Alright, so we just filmed a full day's worth of JK News at our brand new set. Ran a little bit late today. It's 840. But everything turned out sick. Looks amazing. It was dope for all the boys to get back together, except we don't have Anthony, of course, he's traveling. But to see all the new videos that we just shot, make sure you go to just kidding news on YouTube. Go check out all that new content in our new set. Comment, let us know what you like, any other inside jokes that we should put on the wall. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, so Anthony is the only one who hasn't seen The Office yet because he's been in Laos um, dancing for their new golf carts. And he's just here. Hey, Ryan, can you open the, the yeah. what? We gotta get his reaction. <laughs> he's all yelling at us. Dude, that's some Southeast Asian anger right there. Oh, dude, fucking rage. Come in! Open it, I got no hands. Oh, okay. Check out the new office, dude. I, that's oh, you have no hands. Yeah, I got no hands, what's up, man? Hey, I'm check out the new office. Oh, shit. This is obviously my corner. It represents me the most. Holy fuck. Oh, why am I locking it? Oh my! And the chairs? It's just fucking crazy, huh? Oh, oh <laughs> man! The, that's brand new. That's no history. Oh man! Oh man! Dude, <laughs> it looks. Oh my gosh! Is this place fucking incredible? It's almost like we're proud of this place. We are proud, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, we're look. not proud boys. We're careful boys. Dude. <laughs> Dude, look. We still can't use this space, but it's still cool. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, storage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. These are actually up. See? Pride. See? I told you. Oh, my goodness. Look at this grandfather clock over here. Do you know the significance? Oh, Ethan Allen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My exactly. goodness. Ryan did this for you. That's for you, man. Oh my gosh. It's Kinja So you have free promo. <laughs> this is, I think, like 40 bucks a month that you have to pay ad space for. Dude. Yeah. So you always, month? but you have to. You we guys got to pay ad space for this. No, we man. need first and last month. So that's already $80. First and last month. Oh, we already need $80. Dude. Ad space is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this, this is Steve's corner. Oh my. Wow. 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 <laughs> Believe all women. Oh, this still looks like shit. Yeah, that looks like shit. No, but they organized it still. It's just Cam fucked it up. They organized yeah, it. Yeah, Cam fucked it up. Oh, oh, you brought that. Yeah. Oh, why is this still up? Dude, what are you talking about? That's genius. <laughs> why is this still That's up? masterpiece. Yo. This is crazy. This is the skinniest Bart's legs have ever been. <laughs> Let's see. Look at that. Oh, that's that's the pre-Vietnamese coffee legs. <laughs> this is fucking mind blowing. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Why is this still here? This well, is just nah. It's part of the decoration. That's annoying though. All right, fine. I'll throw that's it away. <laughs> dude. You see the cult stripes for Steve? Yeah. Oh my. Ryan made sentimental, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're not even. I'm gay. I thought that was I'm racist gay. stripes for Ryan. <laughs> like, nah. I thought that was cowboys. Say like, nah, I'm gay, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh snap! You got you kept all the shitty signs. Yeah. Yeah. All See, the you kept the old and the new, and made the new the old and the old the new. But suddenly it's like it makes way more sense. And it looks way better suddenly. Yeah, way better. There's already Steve's ripples from yesterday. Where? Oh my God. Four of them? Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. That's you gotta check out this rope. 